<laughs> and Sue Virtue and Stephen Moffat join us now. Husband and wife team yeah. on the sofa yes. behind worth, Sherlock. Fantastic. Worth mentioning, isn't worth it? Me <laughs> I think so. And with Mark Gatiss as well. Though oh, we're yeah. not married yes. to him. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, no. that would be wrong. No, I think we, so. we were asking a question in, in, in the queues. You know, is it the acting? Is it special effects? Is it writing? Actually, it's surely a combination of all three. First of all, the acting is fantastic. Oh, the casting Brilliant, yes. was perfect, wasn't it, for yeah, Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch? Yes, the only man to play Sherlock Holmes with an even stupider name. Yes, absolutely perfect. <laughs> perfect for the role. And so everybody was concentrating on the name rather than the man, really, when mm. he was cast as Sherlock. Mm -hmm. I know, I, mean, I, th I think the first episode, that's all anybody could talk about, was what a weird name he had, and now, of course, he's this huge overnight star. But he has this uh, the sort of otherness about him, doesn't he? I mean, his face looks, I mean, it's, it's slightly... I hesitate to say alien quality about it, because he's not what, he's not around at the moment, he's in the States, is he? Because no, he's here. He's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You look great, Bendy. He's honestly, sitting at home weeping, weeping. 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 He's called him E.T.? Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, why only three episodes? They're 90 minutes long. <laughs> three 90 minutes, that's longer than a set com. It's not complaining. Uh, it takes ages to yes. make. I, I don't know, I'm people sure. More, you see? People, yeah. They're desperate for more. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, there will, the there will be more. I mean, we haven't yet, we're having a meeting just to sort of talk about how many and when, really. But, yes. Um, I mean, Stephen and Mark are, are both very busy. Stephen's obviously doing Doctor Who as well. So mm. uh, it's just mm. when we're going to do that. But it looks like there are very clever, a very clever ploy. Without wanting to spoil too much for anybody who's still watching it, and I ploy, but to leave, leave that question mark over the third and final episode. Because yeah. you knew that people would be clamouring to mm. see another one after Just that. Just being needy for another series. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well yes. Yeah. And when it came to... Because the, the other very important thing is the chemistry mm. between Holmes and Watson getting the, the right two actors and Benedict and, and Martin Freeman together. Mm. Were you involved... How closely were you involved were you in that process of finding yes. the Yes. Right I mean, Benedict uh, was the only person we actually saw for uh, Sherlock. And then once Benedict was there, it was really just making sure you got the chemistry uh, mm. for John. Mm. So, and I think you get it as soon as they come in the room mm. you yes, can you see do. that they work together and there are little sort of references as well to to the Conan Doyle books which one of you was a fan you were a fan well Mark and I it. are huge fans of the originals yeah uh, I mean massive massive uh, Sherlock Holmes geeks so I um, mean if you know your Sherlock Holmes stories it's full of stuff from those stories and there's little so details the in there patch, this is a three patch job with the nicotine patches that's rather a three than pa a three pipe problem yeah. the fact that they meet at Bart's the fact he's invalided home from Afghanistan all that's from the original how, how close are the plots, though, to the They're original? reasonably close. I see, I've seen a lot of people saying that the, the, the two poison thing came from the Princess Bride. It actually comes from a study in Scarlet, uh, the original Sherlock Holmes story, which we adapted as a study in Pink. So there's quite a lot of detail in there. But, you know, the, the demands of a 90-minute film are slightly different than the demands of what are usually <laughs> yeah. short stories. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's very sweet, though, the amount of um, times I've just sat with the two of them, Stephen and Mark, and they just... Get each other excited about the actual show, you know, yeah. Cundall stories. Really? Yeah. I mean, the, the, once you've got that, and once you see the partnership and it working so well, you get the Holmes and Watson. But the Moriarty character, I would imagine, was was actually was that more difficult in a way to cast? No, it's just another treat, really. I mean, we knew what we wanted to do with Moriarty from the very beginning. We wanted someone who was because Moriarty is usually a rather a rather dull, rather posh villain. Yeah. We thought well, someone who's genuinely, properly frightening. Someone who's an absolute psycho. Because in a way, Moriarty is the man that makes Sherlock a hero, because he's a rather amoral character, Sherlock Holmes. So you want um, some for him to respond to that turns him into the hero he's sort of destined to be. Right, yes. Can we deal with the elementary question, mm. which is, elementary, my dear Watson, I'm not sure if it was ever written into any of the originals. It's not in the stories. Why shouldn't it be? But it's not. Elementary, not even the adjective. He didn't even say elementary. No, he says elementary all the time. He yes. says, my dear Watson, uh, yes. all the time. Does, just, he, the two yeah, never actually yeah. happened together. But you but resisted so the temptation. Well, but the thing is, the, the word elementary would be an odd one for a, a modern young man to say. Yes. That would be normal for, uh, in Victorian times, but now it's odd. So we, we're quite strict. Uh, mm. they, they can't sound like Victorians. They have to sound like modern men. In the same way, you men. wouldn't say the game is afoot. You would say the game is afoot, actually. He only says that once, in fact. But, or, and, you, and you wouldn't call each other Holmes and Watson. You have to call each other Sherlock and John. All those things have to be right. They have to be properly updated. They have to be modern. Mm. We're going to see another clip from uh, the final episode. And this is uh, Sherlock trying to solve a bit of a puzzle. Here it is. Oh, it's very scary. Even th this time of the morning is very scary. Um, the Americans are going to love this, aren't they? Because that's where you, so. you're taking it there, aren't yes, you? Yes, we're taking it there. That's being shown there in October. Mm. In October. Yeah. And also, what's quite nice as well is that the people who wouldn't know Arthur Conan Doyle's work maybe mm. have a chance to yeah, look at the I mean, original it would be great Arthur Conan Doyle children starting to read again, I think, read the Conan Doyle books. I mean, again, if you talk to Stephen or Mark about the first time they 
read it. What's that um, thing in Mark's book? Yes, he was reading the, the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and he, he got his first copy of it. And, uh, and there's a, a foreword by Eric Ambler, which ends with the words, "I wish I was about to read these stories for the first time." And Mark, little Mark, was sitting there thinking, "I am about to oh, read them for the first lovely. time." Oh, how lovely! Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for coming. Promise us you're going to make some more. There will be some We more. are, definitely. <laughs> oh, Neither of can't Thick. leave hanging there. Thick. Hanging and and there. 90 minute versions again? Yes. 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 I think so, yes. All right. Yeah. And more than three. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and can we be in it? Yes. <laughs> you can see. As long as it's not horrible <laughs> murder, clearly. <laughs> all three episodes of Sherlock uh, still on BBC iPlayer. How much longer is it on iPlayer for? Just because it tends to. Run out. Be sure. Uh, for a while. Uh, oh, I'm sure. And then it's, and then it's on DVD. That's iTunes. the best solution. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> for about another, at least another week. Ten days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.